hello, welcome to Flint Fire Server. My name is Thomas, and today I have a tutorial for you, and it is how how do you add planes to Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Now, just ignore the demo part. I actually don't have the full Flight Simulator because uh, it got deleted accidentally. I mean, that sounds silly, doesn't it? But uh, today, I'm going to show you how you can get extra planes for your um, for your Flight Simulator. So first, you need to go on the internet. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer and in Google search you need to type simviation.com and then it should come up with simviation, the world's capital for flight simulator freeware file. So you click on it and then it will take you to this page. Now you can pay for a membership which gives you faster download speeds and all of that stuff but you can it's totally free all of this. So you just click on the main menu and it should come up with their home page. Now uh, for Flight Simulator X, you need to scroll down to Categories, and they they support quite a few different types of Flight Simulator: CFS1, CFS2, CFS3, FS98. That's that's the really old one, and we want to click on FSX, and then click, and then hopefully, we don't really want to download a really uh, well massive file because otherwise, you'll be here forever, and basically you don't really want that. Um, so all you need to do is just scroll down until you find a plane that you want. Now notice how it says textures on some of them. That means that you actually have to have the plane and then you can add the textures um, to the plane. So that's why it's a smaller download. Um, there's loads of pages of it. I mean absolutely tons of them. Um, do you know what? I think I'll have this one. The South African Airways one. And then you basically click on it and scroll down and then click download file. This is totally safe, do not worry. I promise not to give you viruses because it's all been tested. Now I'm going to put this somewhere in my documents. I'm going to make a uh, new folder. Fly oh gosh, I can't spell today. Flight Simulator Planes. And then I'm just going to save it there. And that's now going to take ages to download, so I'll be back when it's downloaded. Okay, it's uh, well finished now, and uh, basically, once it's downloaded, you just click open, and don't worry about all of this. It contains rubbish because it doesn't. Um, so then you open it, and if we look in it, we'll see all these lovely pictures of it. There you go. That's there's that one, the virtual cockpit, all of the labeling, labeling everything, everything, all of this stuff that's very very useful to know but not quite so useful to know right now obviously because we need to install it first so basically to install it uh, let's just see what the readme says unzip to a temporary folder move the folder posky boeing 747 british airways world cargo new virtual cockpit to the fsx simojx airplane directory so i think what it means by that is move this folder here folder right here to a folder that I'm going to tell you but first all you, what you need to do is you need to go up here and click extract all files now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a place on my well on my thing to well put all of this stuff in so I've just selected a place and I'm going to click extract now the reason why you need to extract is because it's um, zipped up in a nice folder that is uh, not compatible with Flight Simulator X. If you were to just drag and drop that right now, then it wouldn't work. Now, I must tell you that not all of the links on uh, on Simviation work, not all of the downloads work, not all of them have sound. Some of them don't even work at all. So, just choose wisely. Just, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Just try a couple of other things. And, basically, that is how you do it and also um, if you don't forget that um, there is a new website for Flintfire server and it is flintfireserver.webs.com that is dot webs with w e b s dot com don't forget the dot webs or it won't work um, it has all of the youtube videos that i've got on my channel it's got uh, a forum it's got everything like that so basically go on it become a member do loads of stuff you can also listen to my uh, Flintfire radio um, which is uh, playing loads of great songs. So now that's unzipped, uh, you can click on it, and all of this stuff is now 
hopefully ready to use. Now I'm just having a look um, basically at uh, all of this stuff. I mean usually I don't actually read it, but sometimes you need to. Um, that's okay, that's all the sound. Um, don't know where to put that. I think if I attempt to I might be able to put that in there, but I'm just gonna basically uh, what you need to do is you need to open up a new one. I'm just going to close down all of this stuff because it's kind of going to slow down my computer. But go onto my computer, click in your hard drive. I don't know why mine's called that, but it just is. Actually, how many? I've got 116 gigabytes free. I was just wondering. <laughs> click in program files, then go down to. Uh, where is it? Got to find it. Somewhere in here is what I'm looking for. Oh, where is it? I've got to find it, so I'm, uh, I'll be back when I... Oh no, there you go. Microsoft Games. Click in the Microsoft Games. Then click on that Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's got simulator. Then once you're in Microsoft Flight Simulator X demo in Program Files, Microsoft Games. Click on Sim Objects, which is there. And then click on Airplanes. And this is where you can put all of your airplanes. So hopefully, if I drag this and put it in there, uh, yes, it's going to ask me to say yes to that. Now it's going to move it all into that folder. And hopefully, if we go back, um, let's see where it's put all of the. Uh, I wonder where it's all put, put all of the uh, sound for all of this. Ah, there is sound in there, so if the sound folder is in a different place, click in there, and then hopefully... Oh no, it's already got sound. I don't know what all of that stuff is then, but let's just see what it's like without that sound folder. So let's just quit that, and open up Microsoft Flight Simulator X demo. Um, the, you, the same thing it applies for the Microsoft Flight Simulator X normal version. Uh, now, hopefully the moment of truth. And it has worked. There is your new plane. You can uh, open it again. As it does that, click yes, click yes. And hopefully, it should, if it is perfect with the folder, it should load up all the skins and everything. And you should have your new plane. And I'll turn it down just in case that is killing your ears. I don't know where it is. Let's change this one so you can actually see the plane. Let's go see the plane. No, South African cargo, I think, Airways thing. Um, 747-8 Intercontinental, the brand new 747 uh, that uh, they've got in their range. And uh, let's see what it is like when we uh, take it out for a test drive. <laughs> it's like a car, you take it out for a test drive. Okay, uh, this looks really actually pretty cool. Uh, this is the virtual cockpit, if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's pretty laggy, I must say, because, well, it's quite a big aircraft, it's filling up quite a lot of the screen. That's the back of the thing. Uh, it's a pretty good cockpit, actually. I kind of love it. I, th I think it's great. Let's go out of the aircraft and we'll wait for it to load. Um, and that is Sound Fa Su Southern Air. Uh, I think it's a made-up airline. I don't know. I've never heard of it. So hopefully, let's see what it's like when we take it for a test drive off of runway 09 at Princess Juliana International Airport in uh, the Caribbean. Uh, sometimes the virtual cockpit takes time to load, as you can see. Um, let's see if we can change the settings of this, because it, it does seem to be definitely lagging a sincere amount, don't you think? Um, let's go minimal, just to hopefully reduce the amount of lag that you have to there. Um, is that a little bit better? Not really, is it? <laughs> Let's put the throttles forward and see what happens. I mean, I can't hear anything. I don't know why. I mean, it's probably because I haven't put the sound in the right folder. But um, basically, you need to put the sound in one of those folders. I need to put the flaps down. I think it'll get taken off. Isn't it? It's just going to roll off the end of the runway. Um, this is pro probably the most laggiest bit of the video, and I apologise a lot.
And that is basically how you install a uh, plane for Flight Simulator X demo and Flight Simulator X. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you do have any questions or queries, don't forget to post them in the comment comments box. I will also put the uh, website address for our new website, flightserver.webs.com. Uh, you can also uh, in the, uh, message me on, this, on the website. Uh, you can also do it on the uh, server. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.